NBC's Today Show has been running for over 65 years, but without J. Fred Muggs, the show may not have even survived season one. At its inception in 1953, the Today Show was a mix of serious current affairs and weather reports, comedy sketches, toy demonstrations, and presenters reading children's books. TV programming of the time was primarily targeted toward children. Low ratings almost tanked the Today Show after its first year. That was when Carmine Bud Manella got an idea. He was a former page for NBC and used his contacts to get an audition for his 10-month-old primate named J. Fred Muggs. Unfortunately, they missed the audition and what was seemingly the chance of a lifetime. Then Bud and his chimp stopped by a coffee shop and their luck changed. Bugs dumped his donut into his coffee and suddenly he had everyone's attention. One of the amused customers happened to be an NBC executive who went to the NBC president and said, I want the chimp. Not too long after, Muggs, Manella, and his business partner Leroy Waldron appeared on the Today Show. The chimp was an instant hit with children viewers, who then later drew in their parents. He became show host Dave Garraway's right-hand monkey, performing comedy routines, playing piano, and sporting a wardrobe of over 450 outfits. All the while, Manella and Waldron were off-camera holding Muggs's leash. Ratings boosted, as did ad revenue, and J. Fred Muggs' merchandising soon followed. It's reported that Muggs earned NBC an estimated $100 million. While NBC execs loved the success, things behind the scenes were getting dicey. Muggs loved Dave Garraway, but the news anchor and host was so jealous of the chimp that it began to eat at him. Garraway allegedly began lacing Muggs' orange juice with Benzedrine to make him act out. He also allegedly set the chimp up to fail with an on-air gag in which Muggs could choose to either have a banana or sign a real NBC contract for another year. Muggs marked an X on the contract. Turns out he hated bananas. Some have said Muggs was volatile and would throw violent and disruptive temper tantrums that would displace furniture and set equipment. After Garraway claimed on-air that Muggs bit him, and then Muggs actually nipped comedian Martha Rye during rehearsal, things changed for the chimp. His contract was allowed to expire, and NBC replaced him with Kokomo Jr., a more agreeable ape. By 1958, primates were removed from the show completely as it began to take its form that audiences enjoy today. Muggs went on to appear on variety shows with celebrities like Bob Hope, and in 1958, Mad Magazine featured one of his finger paintings on its cover. In 1972, Manila, Waldron, and Muggs opened a show at Busch Gardens' Stanley Theatre. After that run closed, Muggs retired and moved into his own cottage, equipped with a TV, radio, and backyard that simulated a jungle. Manella and Waldron took care of Muggs until their passing, when Waldron's son, Gerald, took over the caretaking duties. 65-year-old J. Fred Muggs continues to enjoy retirement in his same cottage to this day, accompanied by his long-term girlfriend, Phoebe B. Beebe, who he met on the set of The Today Show. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of history's weirdness that you won't find in your textbooks. All those textbooks that you had to give back. No one has their textbooks anymore, right? I don't have mine. Anyway, there's this video here. There's this one here. There's more stuff here. There's more good stuff. If you liked it, stick around.